Hey up, welcome back. Benny Vapes here, not with a review, with a bit of an update. So, you know I've had problems with Geek Vape with the boost, and if you haven't seen my video, go check it out. I'll put a little thing up there, so you can go check out that out. But when I got my boost, it was faulty straight out of the box. So, I did contact Geek Vape, and they have eventually decided to replace it. Um, so, I've got a replacement coming out with this. So, while that was going on, um, and I was sorting that out, I got myself a Geek Vape Plus and everybody will tell you they're all like oh you bought it from China the boost that's why it don't work I bought this from the UK that's where I bought it from I got it on release when it came out and I bought it from the UK so the other day I came to use it like you do and it was off so I thought fair enough one two three four five nothing so oh battery must be dead so opens it up takes the battery out and puts a fresh, fresh battery in. So I've got a fresh battery here, that's what we're in it. Put it in, screw it in. There you go, it's come on. As you saw, it's on. Press the fire button, and that's all it does. All it does is move the brightness up and down. If I go to change the buttons, doesn't do anything. Does jack poop. Nothing. Press that and the brightness will go down. And then what it'll do is it'll just, there you go. Done. Just turns itself off. So, it's knackered. <laughs> I haven't had it that long. I'm probably about a month. Something like that. Month and a half maybe. Maybe two months. And it's knackered. Geek Vape give you a 90 day warranty on it. So I can't take it back to the shop because obviously it's out of warranty and I'll have to contact Geek Vape now and go through all the rigmarole that I had before. You have to take videos and you have to send it through to them. As you might say, is it my fault? I did take the bung out of the original one and it did leak a little bit, but it's supposed to be virtually indestructible. For what went down there, a little bit of juice will not knack that up. Really, it won't knack it up. I've got mods here that tanks piss out all over when I've just left them. For a little bit of juice down there, it's nothing. And it's fucked. Absolutely knackered. So, all in all, I'm, I've had it with Geek Vape. You know, people say, oh, well, you've got a problem with him. It's, it's your boost. You know, it's always you. Well, if it's happened to me, it's going to happen to someone else, isn't it? You know, so I'm just telling you now what I found. You've just seen it on camera that I put a fresh battery on. It came on. The battery turns the brightness up and down, does nothing else, and then it shuts itself off. So, like I say, I can get in touch with Geek Vape and, you know, say to him it's knack again. But then it's like a flipping drawn out three month process, four month process for them to then say, well, yeah, we'll send you another one out. And I can't be asked. I really can't be asked with it. I am that fed up of it that two of my devices that I've bought from Geek Vape, that are Geek Vape products, and both of the boosts have just, one didn't work out of box, and this one's just snapped up. So, like I say, you can say it was me by taking the two mil, this again, big chunk of bas again, rubber out of it. You could say it was my fault for doing that, which I'll take that on the chin that it was, but I wouldn't expect a little bit of juice in there to have napped up the buttons at all. You know, I, I just won't. It's supposed to be your rugged mod. It's supposed to be that you can go in water with it. It's supposed to be that you can throw it against a wall. What a load of bollocks. So, personally, you might hate me on that one. You might start saying, oh, it's a great product. It's a great product. For you, it might be. But for me, it's knacked up. So, another Geek Vape product that's knacked off. Knacked up on me. So, as you might see, I'm a little bit fucked off with it, to be honest with you. Um, so, it's just a little bit of an update. I personally would not buy one. I don't think it's worth it. I don't like how you put the battery in for a start. I don't like that O-ring at the bottom because it knacks up. So I just thought you get the two mil pod over here. Definitely get your three mil. You've been I mean, five mil pod or whatever it is. But I'd wait. Won't waste your money on it because I personally, per personally, see, I'm getting all flustered now. I personally don't think it's worth it. So that's your update. I hope you found this informative. 
you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram, I will put a link to a video that I think you might enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.